welcome back to the channel. Today I've received the delivery of my Daytona uh, Sportmax boots that I mentioned I was going to buy in the last video. Now they've arrived from Germany today, so today we're going to have a quick look at those, um, unbox them, show you the boots, and then following towards the end of the video we'll uh, get out on the bike and see, see first impressions and what I think of these boots. Now before we do that, if I could get you to like, subscribe and share, um, I'm trying to grow the channel so any extra subscribers will help um, and if there's anyone who's a short rider like myself then these videos might be beneficial so anyway I'll leave it there um, and let's get to looking at these boots. Go. Well this is the box it comes in as you can see made in Germany by hand so yeah nicely packaged I also bought the uh, leather polish, which I've read that they recommend. Just keep the boy boots uh, nice and moist with the leather. Now these cost, yeah, quite a lot of money. Um, if you have a quick look there, it's in euros. Uh, it works out about £249 for the boots, and I think it's about six or pound for the uh, leather treatment. Free delivery from uh, this Lewis company in Germany. They come within about seven days. I didn't have any uh, problems with uh, charges for the new Brexit terms, so which is great, new custom charges. Anyway, yeah, obviously size eight, as you can see here. Obviously I've had a quick peek already. So, uh, so yeah, this is not the first time I've had them out, but for you guys, um, here we go. Obviously, yeah, Gore-Tex. Obviously beautiful, beautiful leather. I'm sure I read that heard and read a review that that's actually kangaroo leather. Either comment if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, it's like a suede effect with the um, with the logo there. It's got dual sip either side of these boots, um, just to help for ease of getting on. Um, it's got the reflective strip there. This is a sort of extra sort of flexy part of the boot, just to help you flex when you get it on. Got Falcro either side. But the hidden trick of this is that uh, six centimeter sort of heel rise, just to give you that extra extra boost for us short riders. So I'm not going to pull pull that out right now, but um, yeah, nice nice first impression boots. Um, I'll take some pictures of me on my bike with my old boots, and then ones with these boots, because I think that'd be a good comparison. But yeah, first impressions, they look brilliant, and awesome quality. Anyway, on to me wearing them. Welcome back. Got the boots on. <laughs> So let's see how we go. Yeah, I feel a bit different to my other ones. They're just a bit more sort of bulky, I'd say. Uh, not massively bulky, but they're just obviously better quality than my other ones. Uh, my other ones did me for my test and all my like lessons and stuff like that. Um, they're probably a couple of years old now. Um, well, not quite. Be two years, say August probably when I first bought a bit of riding gear. They're only like £70 uh, boots I got from Lambs, I don't even know what the brand is. Anyway, they're not particularly got much of a uh, height uh, heel or anything like that, so yeah, obviously first things first. Yeah, it's just getting used to uh, used to these boots and the gear changes and stuff. This feels alright at the moment, obviously because you're slightly um, tilted forward when you're walking, because obviously the heel rise. Yeah, it will take a little bit of getting used to, but I've been wearing them in the house just before I come out on the bike now. And it feels alright actually. Just go up to six. Happy days. So yeah, no. Definitely the EFC you know, because your foot's further away from the uh, yeah you know the pedals. So um Yeah, it's always gonna feel a bit weird at first. I definitely noticed that my legs are more hunched up a little bit more because obviously uh, I am taller with these boots on. Um, but nothing major. Obviously, so far so good. Obviously, bike's only just left my house, so I'm gonna let it warm up at the moment. I'm gonna gentle ride, it's rush out on a Friday. So, um, well, rush out should have gone through, so it's probably a good time in a quarter to six. 
But yes, first things first, uh, go for a little ride. But yeah, definitely noticeable improvement when sitting on the bike. Uh, obviously you'll have seen the photos of my old boots and uh, me then wearing these boots. So uh, you can see for yourself that they do give you that extra height which is obviously going to give you extra confidence. Now, if you've watched the previous video, yes, I have talked about maybe changing this bike, and the reason why I've gone for these boots is it's going to open up, hopefully, more opportunities for some other types of bikes with a higher seat height. Obviously, I don't want to be, like, stretching on tiptoes even in these boots. This is not why I bought them. I bought them just so I'm comfortable. I don't mind being on, you know, a decent sized balls on my feet type feet down but I don't want to be like you know ballerina literally on my uh, toenails <laughs> so, uh, so yeah I bought that because obviously it should open up a few more uh, opportunities so yeah on my week off as I've said in my previous video I'm gonna hopefully go test drive a few different bikes um, I'll see if I film them or not you know I don't want to put myself under pressure riding riding bikes uh, when I'm wearing these boots and uh, but nah that's on it I'll film it <laughs> as we thinking now nah, don't put pressure on yourself Dave but no no for the viewers I will film obviously bikes we'll see as and when you know I might not even test ride some of them I might just go sit on them first and then see what I think and I can talk about it afterwards but the bikes which I do feel a worthy contenders at the time yeah I'll uh, I'll switch the camera on and I'll uh, discuss how I feel about them with you guys anyway uh, thoughts of these shoes boots yeah good they're good size as well I haven't I've got like the thinnest socks ever on at the moment and uh, I've got plenty of room in there in fact I probably could have put a thicker pair in but you know, I'll only go for a short ride today, just to, uh, after work, just to uh, see what these boots actually are like. So, um, yeah, but first, all in all, great quality. Definitely a good sense of uh, height increase, which they should do. And they should be good quality, especially for the price, as mentioned previously. So, uh, yeah, thumbs up for me. Um, yeah, in a way, I probably should have done this sooner. But then I bought my other boots just in case I didn't get on with biking obviously I'm 39 years old so I'm a bit late to biking never ridden a bike before I did all my tests passed everything first time uh, which is great and I bought this bike uh, lowered before I actually did my test so I kind of I kind of didn't need to think about higher boots because I knew I fitted on this all right and I was comfortable with it but yeah in a way I probably could have uh, opened up for more options on bikes but I don't regret the M27 I'm glad I did I passed on one so it's definitely uh, helped with my uh, learnings so um, and gaining more confidence on a on a motorcycle so uh, anyway if you could give this uh, video a thumbs up and a like and I will uh, see you on the next video cheers